I'm back with the latest news in Spain on the Costa Blanca, otherwise known as the White Coast. And uh, yeah, we've got loads of news to catch up with today. So we've got the new data law coming out for holiday rentals. Yeah, really, really intense new rules updated. And uh, yeah, it can lead to serious fightings. And also we've got the uh, plane at the land. Yeah, forced to emergency landing. We've got the inflation. Costco's being built in Spain. Our first uh, Costco has been built down in Malaga. We've got the uh, ball fight, the eight year old chap, he got killed and I was injured. So yeah, we've got loads and loads of uh, different subjects to uh, discuss, as well as the uh, massive tax increase on the waste here in Orihuela Costa. So yeah, lots and lots of uh, things to catch up with. Average cost of uh, an hotel room in August and uh, also the new warnings going on uh, alcohol health warnings so yeah make sure you watch it to the end because there's yeah, so much important news of course just before i start i'd like to thank everyone that's super thanks coffees supporting the channel really appreciate all their support and uh, the new channel members that just uh, joined the channel so, yeah so thank you for your uh, subscription and of course it helps me do more videos but yeah we're gonna crack on now because uh, yeah this new data law just come out and uh, obviously it's been going for a long while but it's been updated now and uh, it's getting more uh, serious now they, they want to know the ins and outs of a duck's uh, backside basically it's all about guests really um going into guest houses hotels bnbs any kind of accommodation where they're getting charged as you know you always have to give your name your address your date of birth passport all that rigmarole but yeah there's quite a lot more been added to it now if you ain't got a passport it's the uh, NIE or TIE you've got to give your full address and now they're asking for all kinds of receipts your credit card numbers they want to know your credit card number of your transactions and it's all got to be kept because if you don't there is massive fines you even want to know if you're in a relationship and how many people traveling and your email address and if you don't comply with these uh, rules and regulations that have just been updated coming in literally this month coming up october these are fine uh, as they're coming in they're like low medium and high so yeah depending on the severity of the the rules you break you're going to get charged loads and loads of money on the low risk one you talk about 601 euros to 10,400 and then up to the medium you talk about 10,400 up to 20,200 crazy but you think that's so bad it gets worse than that because if you're uh, breaking a lot of them and the main ones obviously must be to do with the new credit card details and payment they're talking about 20,200 up to 30,000 if you don't comply with these new rules and regulations and they reckon it's all against uh, fighting against terrorism in Spain and it's all to be uh, keep everyone safe it seems uh, the days of being under the radar and passing money around is all coming to an end with all this uh, digital data they're keeping on us. And they reckon that's all to do with the 80 million Brits coming into Spain, plus a lot more every year. And uh, yeah, keep us safe, they say. Got a new Costco's here coming up in Spain, down in Malaga. And they reckon it's going to be on this big, massive retail park they're doing. And uh, this time next year, we're going to have uh, one of the first ever. Costco's in uh, Malaga, eh? Yeah, rich man's wholesalers, isn't it? But yeah, you do get some good old things in there, though. The scariest thing of all, of course, is uh, the big uh, increase coming up in April. They're yet to vote on it, but they reckon it's going to pass it no matter what because they need more money for the waste management. And they reckon with all this money being uh, brought in on this new increase, it's going to make the cost a lot, lot cleaner. Hopefully get some new bins, whether they spend it or not, or put it in another pocket of theirs, I don't know. But yeah, it's a massive increase. I mean, from paying 70 euros, they're talking about we could be paying up to 238 euros next year, and it's gonna come out in a six month quarterly. So yeah, not good, is it, eh? Increases in Spain. They're saying it's the first, uh, approval set to be approved which it will do in 21 years the last one was 2003 so yeah taxes are going up all the time got some good news though inflation is uh, going down and it's going down pretty quick and they're saying uh, yeah it's a big big drop 
and it's one of the biggest drops for a long time. They're talking about this uh, inflation that's dropped. It's the biggest drop since 2021. And uh, yeah, 2.8. And they reckon uh, what's good about it is the food prices have come down, the electricity bills have come down. And uh, yeah, Spain's going in the right direction, they're saying. Saying just for the period of June, it was 3.6% drop just for that month. But overall, yeah, since 2021, 2.8% is quite a big drop. The next bit of news is a little bit scary. A plane was forced to land. Someone had ordered their self uh, an in-flight meal on one of the planes from Oslo going to Malaga. And up comes the meal and comes scampering out the box as a mouse. Yes, a live mouse. And uh, yeah, everyone was jumping up and down, some were laughing. But yeah, it was uh, more serious than what you think because uh, they had to bought the flight and land quickly because uh, having a mice on board could be dangerous. So I don't know how many are on board and they can chew into the cables. So yeah, the flight got disrupted, had to land and had to change and get another flight. Crazy, isn't it? Getting a, an in-flight meal and a mouse jumps out of the box. Well, this next uh, story headline's pretty uh, scary as well. As you know, the old Spanish do like the old bullfighting. And uh, in old Toledo, Spain, there was a big festival going on. I held over a few days. But uh, their bulls normally encaged by some fencing or whatnot. And uh, where they normally run through the streets, well, this one, they sort of all jump in and wind the ball up by the sounds of things and the ball's got a 74 year old chap in, killed him and three others injured. The ball went out of control. It was on a right old rampage. And uh, yeah, could have been more people as well injured. So yeah, the festival to be stopped in mourning of the chap here that died. But yeah, there's a big uh, investigation all to do with it now because uh, the ball shouldn't have been escaping from a barrage of uh, fencing and uh, it did and it's uh, injured a few people as well like I say. One of them was a child so yeah that'd be the end of the ball festival and uh, yeah it's only pretty serious because uh, the health and safety there weren't very good with an old ball running through and attacking and killing someone. But yeah we've got other funny news going on. We've got a Brad Pitt impersonator arrested in Spain. Uh, a Brad Pitt apparently uh, trying to take off on uh, social media sites and impersonating him and uh, scamming people and he's uh, scammed so many people of course the women they all fall for it yep 325,000 he's managed to get off these people but the police have um, emmed in on him and uh, apparently there's two or three other people involved as well so he's been posting images of himself pretending to be Brad Pitt and uh, the women have been messaging and of course they've been giving money. Oh dear, the oldest scam going, eh? The woman down in Andalusia actually give 175,000. There's one in the Basque country give 150,000. But yeah, the police have uh, got in, busted the home, they've got a diary and they've got all the uh, stuff written down, what they've been doing and what they've been scamming. So yeah, surely people can't be falling for this kind of stuff. Said the women at the scam were very uh, vulnerable and obviously looking for love and uh, really, surely people are not that stupid. I can't believe it. Falling for a photo of someone pretending to be someone and ending over that kind of money. But yeah, they've got them and they're going down these people because the police have got everything they need. They've got the bank cards, they've got the information. But yeah, cyber crime's on the increase. But it's only the vulnerable to get caught anyway. So it's not all bad news, is it? Because the euro's looking good. We're getting 120 today, 120 with a pound. So yeah, get in here and cash some euros. You know, Spain is uh, buzzing and the inflation is uh, going down and everyone's flying here. And uh, the average cost of an hotel room, they reckon uh, in August, was looking at 147 euros a night. Of course, some areas were a lot, lot more expensive, like the main cities. This is all to do with the survey they carried out by the National Institution, and they turned around and said almost 48 million people in August, and the first eight months of 2023, the uh, overnight stays increased by 5.6%. I told you, then I, it's buzzing here, isn't it? And this is early morning, 10 o'clock. 
I thought, it's all happening, isn't it, eh? They're saying the boom, fight the scent this year. I'm sure that's just gonna keep going up and up, just like the property. I mean, you think 147 euros a night for the month of August, one of the premium months, probably not that bad. But no, we're just talking about some areas, average 311 euros. So yeah, all different prices. I mean, my bear, they're around 312 in August. So yeah, all kind of uh, prices depending on where you are. They're saying as usual, the British are the main leaders coming here for the month of August, and they're all saying 25%. So yeah, they do need our money, yet they keep scaring us away with all these new rules and fines. So we're right up Plaid de Cura Beach, the main part where you've actually got the nice beach. And as you know, just on this corner here, a nice bit of a beach, a little bit bigger than the other parts further up. But guess what's missing? It's gone. The old sandcastle. The man that carves out this big, big sandcastle here with the old lions, yeah, it's disappeared. He's gone, so is the castle. I'm not sure what the story is behind that, but yeah, no longer here. It was here the other day. It's the news today on the Costa Blank in Spain. Don't get conned by old Brad Pitt online, that's for sure. And the Euro's looking good, so get some Euros and get down in a sunny paradise on the white coast, Costa Blanca. Of course, one last tip, don't get any in-flight meals on any of the planes because you might get a mice jumping out. Yeah, thanks for watching today's video. And if it's your first time, subscribe, it's free. And uh, check out my other videos just up there.